Sola Scriptura as a doctrine is simply insane, and there are a number of ways to prove this. The first is to recognise that following Sola Scriptura has led to not only a few, but thousands of different denominations of Christianity, and that these denominations do not only differ on superficial things, but they also differ on things which are fundamental, for things which are essential for questions of eternal salvation and what it means to follow God and do his will. So these are not trivial issues. But then, if you're a Sola Scripturist, you also have to assume that Christ would have wanted that to be the way that we deal with his religion and engage with his truth, knowing full well that we would come to different and even contradictory conclusions. And so here's where it gets even crazier. If you're a Sola Scripturist, you would also have to assume that the way that Christ wanted his religion to be promulgated was by every single person reading the Bible and coming to these different conclusions. But not only that, but reading the Bible, despite the fact that Christianity was founded at a time where the vast majority of the population was illiterate. And not only that, but at a time when there wouldn't even be a printing press for over 1500 years. So you have to keep all that in mind. And finally, you have to also answer the fact that the Bible itself does not support itself. True enough, it does say it's a book which is great for wisdom and teaching, but what I mean is that even the Bible doesn't tell you which books should actually be a part of it. So you assume that the Bible is infallible and that all the books within it are in fact canon. But the Bible itself doesn't tell you that. And so Sola Scriptura is just a non-self-supporting idea. So the whole thing is just mental.